don't have any special announcements this evening. We do have a presentation, which is a uh, presentation of Green Business Certificate to Bay Area Green Solutions. And this is a first and unique to San Bruno, the first of very, very many, I hope. Uh, on behalf of the City Council, it is my pleasure to present this Green Business Certificate to the Bay Area Green Solutions. For those not familiar with the program, San Mateo County Green Business Program recognizes those businesses that operate in an environmentally sustainable manner. Each business that applies to the program must meet rigorous requirements related to pollution prevention, recycling, energy efficiency, and water conservation. The area Green Solutions provides facilities maintenance and custodial cleaning services for the commercial sector. It is a member of the United States Green Building Council and their employees are certified as green cleaning technicians with the Green Cleaning Institute. Not green. The area Green Solutions is San Bruno's first certified green business and we hope that many more will follow in its footsteps. I would like to invite the company president, Roland Delgadillo, to join me at the podium to accept the certificate. Mayor, City Council members, it's a great honor for me to be standing here tonight accepting this recognition. For those of you who may not know, Bay Area Green Business Program distinguishes small businesses that protect, preserve, and sustain our environment. Within this business structure, there is a partnership of environment, environmental agencies and utilities that offer incentives and verifies that participating businesses conserve energy, water, minimize waste, prevent pollution, and shrink their carbon footprints. Businesses that meet these standards are officially recognized as Green Bay Area Green Business. My firm, Bay Area Green Solutions, provides green cleaning and custodial services. Our goal is to provide a cost-neutral option to traditional janitorial <coughs> services. Our facilities maintenance programs and green audit services partners, partners with clients to help them reduce their carbon footprint by improving indoor air quality, and work towards zero waste, implementation of recycling programs, updating purchasing policies, and having a true green cleaning program in place. Our philosophy is to clean and to protect health without harming the environment. As I know all of you are familiar with green cleaning products and its environmental impacts, are you aware of the relationship between green cleaning and human health? I invite you to use your favorite search engine and enter the term sick building syndrome. This is a condition directly related to being exposed to volatile organic compounds that include, but certainly not limited to, chronic fatigue, headaches, fibromyalgia, depression, edema, heart palpitations, asthma, and cancer. A recent study by the Berkeley National Laboratory Indoor Air Quality states that work performance may be improved by up to 10% by providing indoor environmental quality. There we have a positive health, environmental, and financial impacts with the impl implementation of the sound environmental policy and green cleaning. Once again, I would like to thank the city of San Bruno in its pursuit of environmental stewardship. I'm humbled by your gesture, and I salute your environmental leadership as a city. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Review of the agenda. Any uh, changes that anyone would like to make? I would like to move uh, comments from council members up to after item number G, if that's okay, or item G. Item number six is the approval of the minutes of the city council meeting of June 28, 2011. Any errors, omissions, corrections? Seeing none, they will uh, stand approved as submitted. Consent calendar. All items are considered routine or implemented early or council action and may be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless requested by a council member, citizen, or staff. Any action on the consent calendar? Move to approve. Second. Motion second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Public hearings. Notices have been published, posted, and mailed. There are no public hearings this evening. Item number nine, public comments of items not on the agenda. It is the council's policy to refer matters in this forum 
to staff for investigation and or action where appropriate. There will be, the Brown Act prohibits accounts from discussing or acting upon any matter not agendized pursuant to law. Would anyone like to address the council on items not on this agenda?